Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about calories. I wanted to really focus on um, to see uh, signals and signs within your body to know if you're actually eating enough. I have six points for you today to actually look and pay attention for within your body to know if you're eating enough or if you're not eating enough calories. And I wanted to help you figure out what works well for you because I truly, truly believe that every person is different in this sense where, you know, someone might feel more comfortable doing one, one thing one way and someone else might feel more comfortable, more positive doing something another way. So I think it's really important that we align with our true um, intuition and do what works well for us in our in our bodies in our lifestyle so the first point I wanted to say is that um, focus on your energy levels so if you feel like you have a lot of energy throughout the day and it's sustained you don't have any highs you don't have any lows you feel you know pretty good where you have the energy even not just to do your day-to-day tasks but tasks but you also have the energy and motivation and you have that desire to actually do some exercise as well so that should be um, it should optimally it should be that way that you have the energy to do what you need to do throughout the day and also have the energy to do some workouts throughout the week some exercise on top of that number two I wanted to point out is sleep so this can actually go either way if you're not eating enough you will likely realize that you sleep a lot. Maybe you're sleeping 10 or 11 hours of, of um, time each night. However, you wake up in the morning still feeling exhausted and you feel like you have not been rejuvenated and refreshed. So you're constantly feeling like you're sleepy all the time and really fatigued and tired in your body. However, even though you're getting a lot of sleep, you're still not feeling like that is enough. Or, for some people, it can actually go the opposite. Um, you're so fatigued and exhausted that you're not actually able to sleep at night. So maybe you have super, super trouble falling asleep, you have super trouble staying asleep, and when you wake up, again, of course, you're going to feel exhausted and, and not rejuvenated and not refreshed like you should feel. So pay attention to your sleep. You should be able to fall asleep just naturally and comfortably, maybe within 15, 20 minutes of lying down, hitting your head on the pillow. Um, and you should actually go out through pretty much the whole night without waking up. Unless it's to wake up to go pee, you should be sleeping continuously throughout the night. If you find that you're waking up a lot and it's disturbed, that again, that's not good. Number three is your digestion. So focus on that. Um, if you're not eating enough calories, what usually likely happens is that your digestion slows down or it weakens. So you will probably then notice that you're not going to eliminate your bowels as much as you used to or you're feeling like sometimes when you eat uh, certain foods uh, or food combinations you feel like you have a lot of gas or bloating and things just aren't breaking down and absorbing your body as they optimally should do. Four is your mental clarity and concentration. If you have a really difficult time concentrating or forming words or um, saying what you need to say or thinking about what you're supposed to be thinking about, does your mind wander too much? If you're having difficulty in this aspect, this area, then it's highly likely your brain isn't receiving enough fuel, it's not receiving enough glucose for yourself to think clearly and function optimally. So you'll probably notice that you know, when you're speaking with someone, your mind will become adrift, you'll experience maybe brain fog, um, little things like that to say that you need more fuel. Five, number five is cravings. So are you going throughout the majority of the day constantly thinking about food, constantly um, feeling this need or this want to eat everything in sight, or if you're not around food, then you're probably always feeling like you have the craving for this and that and this, and you're probably constantly thinking about recipes, meal ideas, um, Essentially, food is on your mind a lot. And when I say cravings, I mean that your body is um, giving you certain signals that it's needing more of something, it's needing something or wanting something else. Um, and it's very important if you experience this type of feeling or again, this type of thought where you're constantly thinking about food, your body is telling you, it's screaming at you saying it needs more fuel. And 
The final one, six, is your body weight. So if you have um, serious fluctuations in your weight, if you're going up and down constantly, or you're constantly and consistently dropping weight and you shouldn't be, maybe you're already um, at a healthy weight or you're getting to be an unhealthy weight, too low body fat, then again, that's another clear indication that you're um, not eating enough. However, I do need to say as well that this can actually go in the opposite direction, just like the sleep. Um, so if you have gotten to the point where you're constantly under eating for a very long period of time, what your body will do is it will slow down, your metabolism will reduce in order to um, maintain, try and maintain your weight and keep to that level. So you'll probably notice that over time you have to keep decreasing your calories in order to maintain your weight. Otherwise, if you were to keep eating the same amount or eat more on a few days, you'll notice that you will gain weight too easily. And that's unhealthy, that should not be in that way. So these are the main uh, signals and things that you need to look for within your body to understand if you're eating enough. Um, and if you're not eating enough, you will experience several of these within the list, um, if not all of them. So then it comes down to, if you're not eating enough, how do you know how much to eat for your body? You guys know I hate to give out numbers when it comes to calories. However, those who are new to eating a whole foods plant-based diet, those who are new to eating a healthy lifestyle in general, you know, it can be quite difficult to know how much you need to be eating because you're so so used to eating processed foods, meat products, animal products that are um, smaller but calorically dense so that you can eat a small portion of them and yet um, get the necessary amount of energy that your body requires. However, when it comes to plant foods, they are so, so calorically um, minuscule uh, and they're very very high in water and fiber so you're probably eating that same amount or maybe even just a little bit more than you were eating before however you're not getting nearly as much energy and nutrients that your body requires so you really need to increase the volume size eat a lot you need to eat a lot of food so if you're experiencing a lot of these signals that I've mentioned uh, if you're if you're not eating enough, then you need to eat more for your body. Obviously, you need to eat more uh, volume. You need to eat more calories. If you cannot handle the volume already at this point, then I highly suggest adding in calorically dense foods like bananas, dates, uh, persimmons, jackfruit. There's a lot of high calorie fruits. Um, if you wanted to go more starch based, I highly recommend uh, potatoes, whole grains, uh, even beans are great. Uh, and again, if you are having difficulty, add in some dates into a smoothie or banana ice cream. Dates are incredible to pack in extra calories uh, without adding in extra fats because fats, um, you know, they do add in extra calories and they're great, but I wouldn't ever suggest going over 20% of your daily calories com coming from fats and it can be too easy if you're adding in a lot of fats within your day um, to bulk up your calories. So sticking with whole food carbs is the best for your body, it's best for your brain, for the glucose that it needs to function optimally. How many calories should you eat then? Um, I truly believe that every single adult should be even eating over 2,000 calories. Um, if you are a female, anywhere between 2,000 and 3,000 is appropriate. If you're a little bit more active, go, eat, go on the higher end. If you're a little bit more sedentary, go on the lower end. Um, and it all boils down to when you're trying to eat a certain amount, pay attention to see if you experience any of these symptoms uh, on the list, the six symptoms that I mentioned. If you do, then obviously you need to increase the amount that you're eating. So it's kind of trial and error. That's why I'm a huge believer in um, practicing yourself and experimenting yourself to see what works well for you. Males, adult males should be eating anywhere between 2,500 and 3,500 calories. And again, the same thing, if you try eating a certain amount and you realize, oh, it's too little, then definitely increase the amount by a couple hundred calories at least to start and then go from there. So it's all about experimenting and figuring out what works well for you. And then it comes down to who should really track calories. I think any person, any individual who is new to a healthy lifestyle, who is new to eating a whole foods plant-based diet and doesn't know or is unaware of certain calorie or certain energy or certain nutrients in foods in certain amounts and meals and recipes 
it's great for that individual to use a chronometer or my fitness pal tracker of some sort to become more aware of the volume sizes that you need to eat once you get used to it once you you know have the basic understanding of calories and nutrition in these certain foods you'll become more confident and more aware of what you're putting in your body the meals you're putting together and it'll become more easier for you in that way so I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you found it informative and inspiring. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button there. And if you're new to my channel here, subscribe for more because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time. Bye.